everybody welcome back to my channel we had a busy weekend this weekend was a fun weekend we celebrated my dad's birthday his 80th birthday that and we had a blast we did we had a blast with him and then let's see my grandkids we went well we went to Cranax which is like a Christmas display in in our area that's kind of cool and we all went there. Well, most of us went there. And then we went to my <laughs> We went back to my mother's because she wanted to feed us again. My mom is is like <laughs> was actively feeding everybody all weekend. So we all got fed well. Thank you, mom. Thank you, mom. So we went back there and had root beer floats. And that was fun. My grandkids, I kept, my my oldest daughter has, you know, Gia and Luke, you've seen them. I told her, I said, all right, I'll just keep them overnight because she would have to bring them back out here in the morning. So I said, I'll just keep them overnight. So I kept them overnight and they were awesome. They did so well. We were actually all sleeping by nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, we were all sleeping, which I was thankful because Gma was getting, Gma, Gma was tired. Most tired. I don't know if you guys saw my previous videos of my back. My back just kind of went out a week ago. It's doing much better. It's doing much better, full of steroids and you know anti-inflammatories, and that's that's doing better. It's actually doing somewhat better. So they spent the night, and we were sleeping by nine o'clock. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Nine o'clock, and they let me sleep till seven a.m. They never woke up. They never nothing. I think we wore them out too. So yesterday was a fun day because none of us got dressed. I stayed in my pajamas all day. The kids stayed in their pajamas all day. We hung out and watched TV and played with toys and did nothing. We just did nothing. <laughs> okay, today. Today is... Listen, I'm exhausted. I'm wiped out exhausted, but I'm happy to be exhausted. I had a big weekend happy I knew I would crash today's just kind of like a crash day for me I've gotten two deliveries I don't know about you but do you ever order anything from anywhere and forget that you ordered it and don't know what it is when it comes in well I've been doing that all morning opening boxes thinking what is this what oh what is this in fact I gave my mother the wrong birthday present I did that so I have to, I called her yesterday and I said uh, mom gave you the wrong birthday present we need to like fix this and she's laughing so i said i'll bring it over i'm going to bring it over there tonight because my dad and my brother's birthday present didn't come in until monday the party was sunday so i said i will bring it all over wednesday night this is wednesday yes this is wednesday so i'm going to go over to my parents later and drop off presents which that'll be fun maybe i'll film it maybe i won't I don't know. We'll see. But me and the dog are hanging out. The dog. The dog has not left my side. The dog is in heat. The dog is in heat and we are now bus buddies. So that's that's fun. That's fun. So we've been dealing with that. I don't know if you guys have doggy diapers. But my doggy wears doggy diapers. As big as that thing is. As big as Macy is there. They got big size. And I got like hot pink and you know cool colors that you know stand out so it's like hey I'm wearing a diaper so all right so let's continue on with our day of doing I don't know what we're doing we're just doing something hi welcome to my piano bench so I know what I'm gonna do today I figured it out I'm gonna have a conversation first of all my piano bench my piano bench has brought me through the years through things that I didn't think I could get through. I just didn't think I could get through. Things that when I was broken, things just when I was hurting, I was able to sit at my piano bench and just start playing. And I would start playing and then sometimes tears would flow, sometimes I would get happy, but I was able to work through things by playing my piano. I don't know, do you guys have something that you're able to do and just sit and sit and do and work through things? But, you know, it's like my mom. My mom always knew every time I was 
stressed or upset about something, I'd sit down and play. That That's my go-to. I would just sit down and play. And that always brought me peace. Peace through tears, peace through decision making, just peace. It always brought me peace. Unconditional love. What is unconditional love? I can tell you what it means to me. Unconditional love. I know that both of my parents love me unconditionally. They just love me unconditionally. I've done some really stupid things through the years. Hurtful things. Um, made bad decisions that hurt other people. And my parents just always loved me unconditionally. Unconditionally. They supported all of my decisions, whether they liked them or not at times. They were always supportive. They never said, you know, don't do that, that's going to cause you harm, don't do that, don't, they never, they never, once in a while they'd give, you know, you really probably shouldn't do that, but they wouldn't go on about it, they would let me go on, they would let me go on, and make the decisions that I needed to make for me in my life, but they would always be there to pick me up, always were there to pick me up, you know, and they never said, I told you so, I have never heard my parents say, I told you so. Never. Never. You know? So that's unconditional love to me. Just picking somebody up when they fall and letting them be them and live their life the way they need to lead it without complaining to them. I, you know, my parents never complained. My mom never complained. She always would just let me do my thing and you know I would go get a tattoo and she would kind of roll her eyes you know which I only have one tattoo but I you know and it's something I know my mom didn't agree with or my dad didn't agree with you know I, they didn't want me getting tattoos but I did it anyway and they supported it you know they never just said anything negative about it and I know my girls growing up I some of my dogs some of my one of my some of my daughters made decisions that I hated. I hated their decision. I hated it. And I never said a word. I just supported them through whatever they decided they wanted to do and picked them up when they fell because you know they're going to fall. You know that when you have a child that's going down the wrong path and you just kind of know. Eventually, they got to figure it out from themselves, and eventually they're going to fall. And the best thing that I can do as a parent is just be there to pick them up. Just be there to pick them up when they do fall. And that's what I've done with my daughters over the years. And I hope my, I know my daughters feel that way. Mom's always been there because I learned that from my parents. My parents have always been there for me always for me for my brothers for my kids they've always been there unconditionally and that's what I want to teach my kids and by teaching them that it's just showing them unconditionally I'm gonna love you no matter what you do no matter what you decide I'm gonna love you through it and if you fail I'm gonna pick you up if you succeed, I'm going to be the biggest cheerleader that you've ever had in your life. That's what unconditional love is to me. Alright, well, if you like my video, give me a like, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.